Hi guys, welcome to Colossus Mathematics class. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video. All right, today I want to show you how you can solve questions using the differentiation table I spoke about in the last class. So if you've not watched the video, kindly check it out now. So today we want to look at some questions. So let's say we have y equals to 5x squared plus, so let's say 5x squared power 3 plus 6x squared minus 3x plus 6. Now, how will you solve this kind of question? Your dy dx will now be what? 3 times 5, which will give what? 15. 3 minus 1, 2. Plus 2 times 6, 12. 2 minus 1, 1. So I don't need to write it. Minus. If you differentiate a constant and x, it will give what? The constant. Plus if you differentiate this, it will give what? 0. So you don't need to write it. So, per adventure, you are told to find the second derivative. How will you do that? It is very simple. The thing you simply do, your d square y over dx square is differentiate your dy dx again because d square y over dx square is the same thing as d dx of dy dx. So, this is what this one means. So, you are differentiating this one again. Are you guys what I'm saying now? So, after that, let's differentiate this again. What we get? 2 times this, 30x. 12x. If you differentiate 12x, what we get? 12. So, that is how you will do your d square y over dx square, which is known as the second derivative. So, if you are told to find d cube y, over the s cube also it is the same thing is the same thing as this d dx of what d square y over dx square all right so that means you want to differentiate this one again so differentiate this again what we get 30 because if you differentiate a constant it will give you zero all right so let's have that question let's say we have y equals to 6 s is power minus 2 plus 5 x is power minus 1. Then they say find find the cube y over the x cube. Now, if you look at this question now, you will see that I'm told to, to find my d cube y over the x cube. But you can't find d cube y over the x cube if you don't have your dy dx d square y over the x square. Do you get that now? So the first thing you need to do is to do your what? Your dy dx and how will you do that minus 2 times 6 will give you what minus 12 x minus 2 minus 1 you know the the law is that x raised by n is minus 1 so minus 2 minus 1 will give us what minus 3 i guess i'm saying then minus because minus 1 times 5 will give us what minus 5 x minus 1 minus 1 will give us what minus 2 so that will be our what? Our divide dx. Then our d square y over the x square. That will give us what? Minus 3. Minus times minus first will give us plus. 3 times 12 will give us what? 36 x to the power what? Minus 4. Right? Because minus 3 minus 1 will give us what? Minus 4. Then this will give us what? Plus. Because more minus times minus is what? Plus. 2 times 5 is what? 10x. Then minus 2 minus 1 will give us what? Minus 3. So, d cube y over the s cube. Now, which is the major one? That will now give us 4 times 36. Minus times plus will give us minus first. 4 times 6 is what? 24. So, we have 4. 4 times 3 is what? 12. 12 plus 2 will give us what? 14. So that's 144 x to the power what? minus 5. Minus times plus will give us minus 3 times 10 give us what? 30 x to the power what? minus 4. So this is how you are going to be differentiating each question you are being given. Do we get that? All right, let's look at one last question on the exponential. How you differentiate exponential functions. So if you have a question like y is equal to exponential 
5x. How will you differentiate it? Don't forget, I told you in the differentiation table that if you differentiate exponential ks, it will give you what? k exponential s. So that means the dy dx of this question will now become what? 5 exponential what? 5x. So if you have a question like y equals what? lean x, what will be your dy dx? Your dy dx will be what? 1 over x. Do you understand that now? So this is the way you differentiate questions on differentiation. So if you have any other questions on differentiation, do that in the comment section. I will be there to answer all questions being asked. So thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video.